Alright, oh, evening. So, uh, on the way to Cody's, and today I am going to try and help him with his uh, 100E. <clears throat> he bought a car a little while ago and he blew it up. No, no fault of his own. I don't know how much of it I believe there's no fault of his own, but yeah, supposedly no fault of his own. Um, so, at the moment, I believe he is fitting. EFI to his 2 litre Pinto, he's got the full EFI system, inlet, everything, and uh, also a turbo. Um, I'm not sure what turbo it is specifically. It's a T something, T17, tiny little thing, but he said he's going to run it at a low boost, but I mean it's a fucking Pinto from 1950 something or 1960 something it's an old car and it weighs nothing so it's going to have some serious power um but yeah so you'll see it eventually in some of the videos if it ever gets done hopefully it does bless him because he bought that car and he loves it uh, he died it but yeah anyway i'll catch up with you when i hit cody's peace Cody's little low boost turbo. What did you say it was? T17? Yeah, T17 from a Saab. From a Saab? I thought you, was this not the turbo that come with the car? No. This is your turbo from, from your turbo. Saab engine? From a Saab engine, yes. From your other project? From my other project. How many projects you got, Cody? This, this isn't a project. Is this your daily? This is my daily, I shouldn't be touching it. Ah, right, right, right. I see with your wheels that are probably the same size as most people's fucking brake discs nowadays. Have you got drums on the back? Yeah, drums on the back, escort discs on the front. What are they? Are they four pop calipers on these? On the escort brakes? Mine are. Ah. No. I don't know what be. mine are. Mine are RS turbo brakes. i tell you what I've got at home. I've got RS Turbo Springs. Not really much use to be great, yeah? You can call your car an RS Turbo. Because you've got springs. Oh, she actually don't look bad, considering how sorry for herself she's looking. Code. you got a Turbo. Don't look at the shit on the shit welding? That's shit welding. That's amazing. I tell you what though, it's better welding than what I'd ever be able to do. For all intents and purposes to get it done. Look. I didn't know you had a flock dash. I do have a flock dash. Has it been flocked properly or has someone just flocked it itself? Uh, it's it's not terrible. It's a semi flock. It's yeah, it's mildly average basically. What about the show cage? No, it's not show cage. That it's is a, a show cage. cage. It's oh. just welded shockingly. It's bolted to the floor. Yeah, you can have a bolt in roll cage. Can you though? Yes. It was a half cage. Yeah. I it... wouldn't trust it to save my life. I'll put that much on it. Code. Well, it's, well if you're going to crash your pop, mate. You're dead anyway, so. Yeah. Is it a pop? They are pops, aren't they? Well, no, it's an Anglia, isn't it? Pop, Anglia, same fucking shit, isn't it? I don't know. This old school way of like talking about cars and I don't know. It's a weird thing, but you're putting EFI in it and I can't believe if this works. Don't if this it will work. When this works. That, that's that's the attitude. When what, this works. What about the catheter bag? The what? The catheter bag. Uh, there's nothing wrong with my catheter bag. I can see you plugged in your coil. My what? You plugged in your coil? No, I think it's just that on top of it, mate. Yep. <laughs> about your boost pipe. I'm gonna get in your no, boost pipe. His loom is. Go on, code. Not the whole loom, just this little bit. Oh, I thought you were in the whole thing. What about that? What's that? That needs to be run the whole way behind the dash and out the front wheel arch. What about all this shit down here? Well, we haven't done that bit yet. Perfection what? takes time. No, it don't. Rome was not built in a day. But I reckon you could build this car in under. <laughs> 